Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. It's true what they say, that nature is lovable, love is peace, and peace makes the world go round and round. Um, but then again, we have the law of natural selection, where every living thing competes for food, water, space, and even mates. Especially mates. So, no matter how much you try, some living things, especially animals, cannot get along with one another ever. And today we are going to tell you some of the reasons why some of these animals don't see eye to eye, from the ocean's biggest animals to the land's smallest ones. Here are 10 animals that absolutely hate each other. Number 10. Sperm Whales and Giant Squids Alright, let's start off this video big. Just how big? Well, with two of the largest animals in the world that hate each other. Sperm whales range from 49 to 59 feet and can dive as deep as 3,280 feet. And that is probably where they find their mortal enemy. The Giant Squid If you're somehow living under a rock and didn't know that there is a giant squid out there, they are deep sea creatures that can be the real versions of the mighty mythical kraken. The biggest of these creatures that were ever found measured 59 feet. Fights between these two behemoths can be epic. Unfortunately, the fights between those giants happen at such depths that it has never been caught on camera. How do we know that these even occur? It is common to find sperm whales with scars that match the giant squid's tentacles and ingestible squid body parts in its stomach. The sperm whale dives searching for food and engages in a life and death contest with a giant squid. And it is not that impossible to imagine an outcome that is not favorable for the whales. Number 9. Dogs and Cats Without a doubt, the greatest rivalry in the history of the animal kingdom is that between dogs and cats. A rivalry so documented and talked about that it's been the focus of various movies, TV shows, comedy gags, and more. But let's answer the deep question. Do cats and dogs honestly hate each other? Yes and no. Originally, when the descendants of wolves were domesticated, their initial training was to hunt smaller animals, including cats, which made a very long rivalry for both dogs and cats. As time went on, the hatred grew, and the stray dogs and cats began to fight over food and places to live. But pet owners will know that dogs and cats can get along if raised together from a very early age in their lives. Number 8. Wolves and Coyotes have you ever been in a fight with people from your own family? I hope you made it out in one piece. I mean, come on, it's your family. But I guess we all have our issues. Two animals that we're about to show you are actually coming from the same family. And they're not necessarily friendly to each other. They're the wolves and the coyotes, both coming from the family of dogs. While they share a lot of features, they adapt to their environments in different ways. An example of this is the way in which they respond to human tolerance. When humans started to take over the land, coyotes started to run away and spread out. Wolves, on the other hand, decided to stay and interact. Wolves also are quite bigger than coyotes, so it makes sense that they're more fearless than their fellow canines. Number 7. Large and Small Birds You know the saying, birds of a feather flock together? The universal truth inspires the saying that birds of the same species do indeed get along. In fact, if you decide to have small birds of different species at your home, you can probably still house them in the same space without any problems. But let's say you decide to add some big birds to the group. Then you'll have some major issues, because you see, giant birds and small birds do not get along. The small ones can quickly get stressed and triggered by the presence of larger birds near them, even when the big bird seems peaceful. This stress causes the small birds to fight and even even feather pick, which is a form of self-mutilation. And just like cats, small birds are also likely to get hurt by giant birds' huge beaks if there is ever a conflict. Number 6. Lions and Hyenas The rivalry between lions and hyenas is so legendary that it was very beautifully depicted in the hit Disney movie The Lion King, where they weren't just enemies, they were two groups that wanted nothing more than to be dominant over the other. 
But would it surprise you, though, to know just how true this rivalry is? And at times, it's one of the deadliest rivalries in the world today. If you were to glance at these two combatants, you might see a major problem with this rivalry. Lions are said to be the king of the jungle because of their being huge and deadly and having one of the most powerful bites in the world. So how can such a powerful animal lose to someone much weaker like a hyena? Let us tell you that the hyenas have many advantages over lions, mainly that they are numerous and they are not afraid to attack a singular lion with a massive pack to cause all sorts of trouble for the lion. Lions still win most of the time because they are endearing creatures with incredible strength, but hyenas have got some viciousness of their own. But why are they such rivals? Well, that's because they're predators who go on after the same prey leading to conflicts and, at times, wars. In Ethiopia, in the year 1999, 35 hyenas and 6 lions died as a result of a two-week-long war that went on in the desert. Their hatred for each other is so strong that they'll kill each other's cubs just to screw with the population numbers of their rivals. Number 5. Elephants and Rhinos up next, let's look at two of the strongest and fiercest animals in the kingdom. But which among the duo would win in a fight? Oh boy, we're not going to say for now. But we're going to tell you that these two titans sometimes do lock horns big time, even though they both prefer to remain anonymous to each other under normal circumstances. Some experts believe that food competition is to blame for the occasional showdown between rhinos and elephants, although there is still little evidence to support this. But be that as it may, rhinos and elephants do fight and the rhinos usually do end up losing. Sometimes they even die. One such interesting case happened at the Plainsburg Reserve in South Africa when a herd of young bull elephants attacked a rare herd of black rhinos. By the time the fight was over, 40 of the rhinos had lost their lives. After some days of investigation, it became clear that the elephants had initiated the attack and had previously lost their parents some weeks before that time. Number 4. Cobras and Mongooses Mongooses? Mongeese? We're really not sure, so let us know down below in the comments. Proper pluralization aside, you probably think that no animal would be crazy enough to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or in this case, paw to fang, with the venomous snake, right? Well, the mongoose is here to prove us wrong. This fearless animal regularly dukes it out with cobras, and more often than not, comes out on top. Mongooses are found mostly in Africa, depending on the species. They range in size from as small as 7 inches to as large as 2 feet. They eat almost anything, birds, small rodents, frogs, reptiles, insects, as well as fruits, nuts, and seeds. They are very smart hunters and can open bird eggs by throwing them at rocks. Number 3. Orcas and Seals If you ever head out to a broader ocean and look on certain land masses, whether it be solid land or a massive pack of ice, You'll sometimes notice seals just standing there, doing nothing but making noises and watching out for things in the water. This is intentional, because seals know that their deadliest predator is just below the surface, waiting to eat them, the orca whale. Orcas are known as killer whales, and for good reason. They use very advanced strategies to get their prey, whether seals, sea lions, or anything else. Seals are in danger of attack by a whale if they're in the water, and they're not safe even on land or ice. No doubt, seals hate orcas, and there are even times when other whales will stop the orcas from getting the seals. Number 2. Bees and Hornets Another unlucky rivalry you might not know about or understand is the battle that goes on between bees and hornets. This one is a bit perplexing on the surface as bees and hornets have all sorts of similarities and are frequently mistaken for one another by humans looking at their sometimes massive nests. But in reality, their hatred is far from profound, mainly due to the hornets themselves. You see, when a hornet builds a huge nest, it's largely built of substances having large amounts of sugars, which means that when it goes looking for materials to build a nest, it'll go to some dead fruit or bees as there is a liquid that comes out of the bee when it is killed. Because hornets know this, they go into a bee's territory all the time and get the liquid from their homes, which 
forms the foundation of their never-ending rivalry. Number 1. Rabbit and Guinea Pigs Sometimes you might think that animals are supposed to get along just because they are similar to each other. Well, here's an example that proves that theory to be wrong. Some people think it's a good idea to have rabbits and guinea pigs living together just because they're both small, harmless mammals that you can keep as pets. But the truth is, you gotta choose one or the other. But I wouldn't recommend having both of them in the same living space. The interactions between these two can be pretty chaotic. From dietary needs to communication, these two differ from each other in significant ways. Rabbits can easily kick the guinea pigs, and sometimes the rabbits might try to mate with the guinea pigs, causing the guinea pigs back to get hurt. Which one of these rivalries did you find the most interesting? Tell us in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.